Good morning, UPSers. My name is Mark Superall. I'm one of the corporate facilitators for UPS. Today, I'd like to talk to you about using the handcart. Our handcart is utilized to do multiple things. A couple of things it's gonna do is gonna help us eliminate multiple trips to and from our customers' locations, whether we're doing pickups or deliveries. But also, more importantly, it's gonna help reduce stress and strain on our bodies. There's four parts or elements of the handcart. You have the handle, which has several different grips. You have a straight post, you have the top rail, and you also have a U-shaped bottom rail. Down below, near the wheels, and actually on the back side of the wheel, is considered the skids. The skids are going to help you go up and down stairs, steps, uh, inclines and declines. You also have the base. The base is the lower part of the handcart, which is where you're going to set those packages down onto. And then you also have the extension which extends the capability of placing packages on there to have a more secure foundation for those packages. When you load packages onto a handcart, you wanna load the heavier packages, larger packages on the bottom and work your way up from there. Also, keep in mind the orientation of the labels. Keep the labels facing up or out or all one direction so that they're easily identifiable and you're able to read them while you're doing your delivery or during unexpected delays. So let's talk about a rear door selection. Coming out of the rear door of the package car, you're gonna take your hand cart, bring it down onto ground level. What we do is we use a method called ramping. We're gonna lean that hand cart up against the bumper. There's two little small grommets, usually rubber, that actually kind of lock that hand cart into the rear bumper. What you're then going to do is, instead of you having to lift those heavy packages, all you're going to do is slide, walk, or roll those packages down onto that handcart so you're really using little to no effort and you're not putting any additional strain or sprain on your back or your body. Once you have that loaded up, you wanna make sure you're always pushing that handcart whenever possible. There's only a couple reasons why we pull a handcart. We pull handcarts upstairs, we pull them around corners, or we pull them through doorways. The reason why we pull them through doorways and around corners is because we don't know what's on the other side of that doorway or corner, and we want to avoid hitting any customers that may be on the other side of that. Now let's talk about a front door delivery. All I'm going to do is I'm going to park my car, secure it, open up my bulkhead door, pull out my hand car and place it down onto the street level. Then I can pull my packages out of the cargo area, setting them into the cab of my car before bringing them out of the package car. Once I have all the selected packages in the cab, I'm going to exit the car with using three points of contact, and then I can move the packages from the cab onto my hand cart. There's several different ways of loading a hand cart at that point. You can keep the hand cart in an upright position, or you can lay the hand cart down, which may be a little bit easier to actually lift that hand cart up than it would be to kind of push and pivot that hand cart and get that moved. When loading packages back into the package car, it's just going to be in reverse. Through the front of the package car, you're gonna bring that hand cart close to that side door, place the packages into the cab of the car, bring that hand cart close so that when you get in to load the packages into the cargo area, you don't have to exit back down onto street level to bring that hand cart back. Remember, use the skids to help pull that hand cart up the stairs back into your package car. For the rear door, all I'm going to do is I'm going to push that hand cart back to the rear of my package car. I'm going to use ramping, again, laying my hand cart down on the back of that bumper, locking those grommets into that bumper. And then all I have to do is slide those packages back up into the, the rear cargo bay of that package car, load my hand cart back in, making sure I secure that hand cart so it's not moving around, busting up any of our merchandise that our customers are shipping, or creating a trip fall hazard for me in the back of the package. Thank you, UPSers, and have a safe workday.